This video is brought to you by Plain B Sales and CircleBDieCast.com. Shop online for the latest NASCAR apparel, merchandise, and a wide selection of diecasts from years past to the newest pre-orders. Be sure to use the code BLUEJIMMY at checkout to receive free shipping on orders of $20 or more. Every purchase you make also supports the growth of this channel, and I would greatly appreciate it from all you guys. And now, enjoy the rest of the video. Yep. Busher to the lead. See if we can try to get one more from uh, a couple more spots, maybe. Oh. White flag, stage one. Off a of turn number four, Chris Busher is gonna get stage one. We'll take we'll take six. All right, I'll take it. We'll get six. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right, we care about you. Don't worry. Green flag back in here. White flag. Yep. Oh. Oh, why you go? Why did you go high, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh. Byron. And we're gonna get it. We got fifth! Ninth! <laughs> Whoa! Well, let's go! contact with Eric Almarola and quite a bit of damage to both cars. Let's see what happened. Here's Eric Almarola. Trying to sort of do a bit of a slide job there, Clint, on the 12 car of Ryan Blaney. He comes up, but, but Ryan had too big of a run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bobby Abarola came up. I just really think Amarola just thought maybe he was going to cut him a break or something, but you're not clear. Yep. You are not clear. Are we not going to talk about the fact that Alberola also pissed off the Chase Elliott fan base or the Mickey Elliott fan base? Because Elliott, because Elliott, because Elliott, because he came, because what was it? Alberola came back up into traffic, and Elliott was spinning. So, just saying. Oh no, not Quinn Alf. I don't know. I don't know why Quinn Elf is in the way. No, why? Oh shit! Oh, is he gonna close him up? Oh, here he said, Oh! Thank God, dude. Ready to go. Good battle here, though. It's fun to watch. See how much Truex had to back up 
Marcus Idrio were just wondering if his car is pretty tight too. He, he just could not carry a lot of speed into the corner. Whoa! Whoa! He got tight, then jumped sideways. Saved it somehow! And that shows that's a perfect example of what we were talking about. It's an art form. It's hard to run that line. It's, it takes a different... Well, if anything's happening, a caution's got to come out now. Yep, and there it goes. Yep, Reddick's Reddick's gonna get probably get stuck in. Oh uh, yeah, he made it happen. Yeah. Yep, he is. Uh, one to go. Lars is good. Sure, Lars is trying it again. But not enough. Wow. G. Wow. GG's. 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 What a right. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Troy Scott Lars at the last second. God damn it. Oh man. How about that? Man, what a performance. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Go win, Byron. That was that was a good that was a great race. That that was that was a good race. Well, we started the season saying expect the unexpected. Best season ever. Boy, it's delivered. <laughs> it has delivered. Yeah. Right there, I believe that was Rudy Michael Kerchief. He's so fast, I don't remember his wins in the truck series. Michael McDowell gets sixth. Ryan Newman got seventh. Bowman got a top. Bowman got a top ten. Kurt Busch somewhere somehow got eighth out of all of that. <sighs> wow, that was a, that was a great race, though. Yep. Yeah. 